first quote is Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. What? No, people. If you look at it from the world's perspective, if you look at situations from the victim's point of view, or from the people who care about the victims who are oppressed, you can see that it is pretty easy uh, to see the difference, ways of discrimination, and see that there are a pattern in how we treat other animals and how we treat each other. If you look, for example, about that slaves in the US were called chattel, chattel and cattle, the word we use for ruminants, are both come from the word capital property Latin for property and then also they were transported with other live stock living property to the US in large transport ships I know what I'm talking about. I am a philosopher and I have read a lot about it. your history, people of the US. A country built by slave masters. How wanna be free? How hilarious. If the US was truly the land of the free, why do you then enslave so many animals around 20% of the animals eaten around um, around 10 10 billion are killed in the US any year so where is the land the free also I know where you shop. Or your or your cheap clothing. Slave labor. A country that called themselves free should not profit from slave labor. Yes, but let me go further and think about what I have to have just say. And also maybe check out my video about the lottery industry. You will be surprised about the stuff I was telling in, in that one. This world is a dangerous place. Not because of the people who are evil. But because of the people who do nothing against the evil. The people who are basically morally cowards. Albert Einstein, John, great minds think alike. But that is also true if you look to history. The only thing evil can succeed in a country is when the majority condone, uh, loves it, says dumbs up, condone it, say oh it is fine and don't be. Or people actually supporting it and say we want to have more of it we want to have more cruelty we want to have more slavery I want to have more that <laughs> and I know people often when there are profiting from it and people often when they are not directly damaged by it like with Hitler Hitler blended the Jews to create a war and the gypsies and the mentally unstable and other groups Hitler labeled disposable. So, so, so. 
la galimiso sat. Texat, neutrality helps the oppressor that wants to oppress. Silence encourages the tormentor that wants to torment it. Take all thy sides. Place yourself in the victim's position. Never place yourself in the oppressor's position. If you ever stand in a position where you have to decide wrong from right, or right from wrong, of how we want to say it, guys and girls, remember, if you are not the victim, don't imagine the entire from your point of view. Place yourself in the position of the victim. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to rationalize cruelty. Because it don't affect you. But when you are placing yourself in the victim's position, you are understanding right or wrong. Because you are using empathy, you using altruism, you using compassion instead of egocentrism or malice. In yes, last one I think we will do for today, and this one is from Dandi. The world gives enough for anybody's needs, but not enough for anybody's greed. Around any two seconds, a child starts from starvation. With people wanging about their burgers. Well, animals are getting fatted up. And the food that is made was made for the children that live there in the poor countries is feed into livestock and then transported to you privileged asses kings and queens of the first world colonist nation and the rich people in those countries also to a certain amount but the majority to the west so can it maybe be time that you are awaken so-called human rights hypocrites stop playing lip service feeding a person on a plant-based vegan diet costs around one sixth of an acre of land but and I repeat that It takes around three points uh, three um, acres of land to produce one meat eater when carnished any year. So do the math, you don't have to be Einstein to figure out which can easily stop world hunger. And that is stop saying that your taste pleasure are more important than starving children and animals that are being massacred in the most biggest holocaust ever on this whole planet. And by the way, holocaust means in old Greeks, the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. Now, when darkness and light become the one, reality splitting away, and the truth become visible.